Hello friends, welcome to Vitplum. Today we are going to solve problem 2 on mechanical rotational system. So here the problem is bit different from the previous problem. Wherein the previous problem he has asked us to find the transfer function. But in this asking us to write the differential equation governing the mechanical rotational system. Shown in figure, draw the torque voltage and torque current electrical analysis current and verify using mesh and nodal analysis. So here this is the given diagram. We have to find torque to voltage analogy and torque to current analogy as well and we have to draw the mesh and nodal analysis diagrams for this. So let's solve this. Step 1 will be same for this problem as well. So firstly we have to consider the moment of inertia J1 that is this and the free body diagram for uh, for the J1 moment of inertia is given as follows. Now apply the Newton second law. Then the torque balance equation is T equals to Tj1 plus Tk1 plus Tb1. These three terms. And the differential equation form is T equals to j1 d square theta 1 by dt square plus k into theta 1 minus theta 2 plus b1 d theta by d theta 1 by dt let us assume this as equation number 1 here in the problem figure he has not given any variables so i am assuming theta 1 as my angular acceleration for moment of inertia j1 and uh, theta 2 as my angular acceleration for moment of inertia j2. In the same way draw the free body diagram for moment of inertia 2 also. Here t is 0 because torque is acting only on the moment of inertia j1. As you can see in the figure also here torque is acting only on moment of inertia j1 now write the torque balance equation what we get t equals to 0 i am writing it directly t equals to 0 then tj2 just sum sum of these terms plus tk1 plus tk2 plus tb2 base dashboard uh, write the differential equation form that is 0 equals to j2 d square d, uh, d square theta2 by dt square plus k1 theta2 minus theta 1 because uh, uh, spring is between j1 and j2 i am solving for j2 so i have to give preference to theta 2 the variable associated with the moment of inertia j2 plus k2 theta 2 plus b2 d theta 2 by dt let us assume this as our equation number 2 so up to here we have formed differential equations for uh, j1 as well as j2. Now he is asking for us to draw the torque voltage and torque current electrical analysis circuits and verify using mesh and nodal analysis. So for that we have to replace theta for that I am taking d theta by dt as omega uh, when i am taking theta it will be integration of 
omega dt now just replace this uh, terms wherever theta there you have to write this wherever d theta by dt there you have to write omega so this is the equation number one for my convenience i'm writing it again so here wherever theta there you have to substitute with this integration omega dt wherever d theta by dt there you have to substitute with omega now let's write the equation again t equals to j1 d omega 1 by dt because for the first differentiation i'm writing omega 1 and the rest i'm writing as same plus k1 integration theta 1 will be written as integration omega dt omega 1 minus omega 2 dt plus b1 d theta by dt can be replaced with omega 1 because it is theta 1 let us assume this as our equation number 3 in the same way substitute these terms in the equation 2 as well then we get 0 equals to j2 d omega 2 by dt plus k1 integration of omega 2 minus omega 1 dt plus k2 integration of omega 2 dt plus b2 omega 2. Let us assume this as our equation number 4. Now let's do the torque to voltage analogy. Uh, voltage analogy means we are using Ohm's law here where V equals to IR that everybody knows. Uh, where v equals to 1 by c integration of i dt in terms of capacitor and uh, where in terms of inductance i can take l d i by dt these are already derived i am not doing anything here these are already predefined so here i have to replace these terms have to replace with omega 1 equals to i1 b1 equals to r1 and omega t equals to i2 b2 equals to r2 and uh, k1 equals to 1 by c1 where t equals to v just compare this equation with this equation then you will get these terms you can observe that uh, 1 by c integration i dt where i have this integration in place of omega 2 i have i so i'm writing omega t equals to i2 in the same way 1 by c it is in the place of k1 right so k1 equals to 1 by c i'm writing it b2 omega 2 here it is in the same way right where i equals to omega means r equals to b right now substitute all these parameters in the equation 3 and equation number 4. Now what I get? V equals to L1. Nothing I am doing in the place of omega 1 I am writing I1. That's all di1 by dt plus 1 by c1 integration i1 minus i2 dt plus r1 i1 this is our equation number 5 in the same way in the equation number 4 also i'm substituting these parameters then i get 0 equals to j2 di2 by dt plus 1 by c 1 integration of i2 minus i1 plus 1 by c1 
सॉरी वन बाय सी टू इंटीग्रेशन आई टू डी टी प्लस आर टू आई टू एंड दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स नाउ लेट्स ड्रॉ द सर्क्यूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव This is using mesh analysis. For your information, I'm writing this. So, in mesh analysis, what we have, we have a voltage source uh, with the R one, and I have L one inductor. and i have a capacitor c1 this is r2 this is l2 followed by a capacitor c2 that's all so this is the circuit torque voltage electrical analysis circuit now we have to draw the torque current electrical circuit analysis also same way uh, whatever the things that we have done in the torque to voltage analogy in the same way we have to do the parameters again now let's do torque to current analogy we have ohms law v equals to ir right from there i am taking i equals to v by r and i equals to c dv by dt just invert the things what whatever we have done in the torque to voltage analogy i equals to 1 by l integration v dt and b1 equals to 1 by r1 i'm writing the terms now omega 1 equals to v1 and omega 2 equals to v2 compare the equation 3 and 4 with these terms then you will get and k1 equals to 1 by l1 k2 equals to 1 by l2 and uh, c1 equals to j1 c2 equals to j2 where t equals to i because we are doing torque to current analogy now torque balance equation is this is newly formed torque balance equation in the torque to current analogy now just substitute this terms in the equation 3 and 4 okay then i'll get c i equals to c1 dv1 by dt plus 1 by l1 v1 minus v2 dt plus v1 by r1 this is equation number 7 let us assume and uh, for equation number 4 substituting all the terms then i get 0 equals to c2 dv2 by dt plus 1 by l1 integration of v2 minus v1 dt plus 1 by l2 integration of v2 dt plus 1 by r2 sorry 1 by r1 v2 and this is our equation number 8 now circuit this is the nodal analysis in uh, nodal analysis we have a current source in the nodal analysis we have a current source i resistor r1 capacitor c1 and i have inductor l1 R two I have L two 
this is the inductor this is a capacitor c2 here it is a nodal analysis circuit for torque to current analogy and that's all thank you for watching please subscribe to witplum